guess what, y'all? Okay, you guys, so I am doing a car essentials, um, like basket for Hannah and the baby. Um, my neighbor's kid is playing basketball, so if you hear the dribble in the back, that's what he's doing. Anywho, so I'm gonna show you guys everything I packed in this basket. Also, do not mind this on my trunk. Something spilled a long time ago. I put baking soda and then it just never dried right. So that's that. But this is super essential, needed, um, especially now having uh, the third baby, two little ones. Um, with Hana, it really, really just helped because you forget to like, you stock the diaper bag, you know. Um, sometimes you just run out of stuff and you need that extra supply, that backup. This is the backup. So. I'm gonna show you everything in here and then also do a little bit of um, some of the accessories for the car. Let's get started. We're starting fresh with the bin from Target. I think this is Room Essentials bin basket. I was thinking of doing a lid one, which I made, but for right now, I just need to get something in the car because baby could come really any day. And again, I'll show you everything that's in here and then pack it up. So we're gonna start with the diapers. Again, I'm doing size one because I'm gonna, you know, having a new baby, I'll have enough like uh, size newborns in the diaper bag. Then I'm gonna do a pad I got. So I have a pad just in case accidents, leave the diaper bag. We have backup diapers. My kind of clothes, if you will, I'm gonna actually add some pads to this. So I have a t-shirt, a nursing um, cover, some cream for my, <laughs> my tatas, and then some deodorant. So we're gonna put that in there and then some items for the kids so we have two onesies for a baby boy and then like two outfits for Hannah some panties some socks so those are gonna stay in there can't go wrong with the pull-up we take a lot of naps in the car just because we travel a lot and moving around so she needs to have backup pull-ups just so we're not um, wetting up the car seat and then this uh, bag that has all of our you know I don't even know what to do, other necessities for like outdoors so we got sunscreen, boogie wipes, um, some repellent for me, some repellent for the kids, hand sanitizer, and then also a little um, Bubba's Potty toilet seat covers. They're Florida black owned brand, so I support them. Also have another Ziploc bag in there just in case. We always have to do wipes. I have one of these cover-ups for if it rains and I have a soup press or my hair is nice. I don't want to get it wet. Then I also have a little pouch for hair stuff for Hana um hair ties i have some tissue in there um what else a little bit of cream a comb then i have another comb here i'm going to slide on the side so we'll have that trash bags because you just never know you know you have an accident or something like that so we're going to stuff those there and then i'm just going to put this in the side of the car like that so i also have this air pump that i've had since i Came from chicago so i have this air pump we've used it for many years it helps you just get a leak something goes wrong with your tire at least to get you to the auto shop so i have this in the back seat as well which i think i may get another bin to put here again don't mind this this looks really yucky but it's the baking soda that we put down our baking soda baking powder that we put down so it just never came back to the original color anywho then i have a uh, potty for hana with some bags in there this is by OXO brand. We really like it. It comes in handy. Super nice. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see exactly which one. So that's going to be back here along with the air pump. Until I put the stroller back here, these two are going to stay in the back as well. So I'll have the fan because again, we're in Florida. It's really hot. Um, I'm going to keep the fan back here. Probably just throw it in here. As well as the stroller bag. So I got this from Mom Cozy. I have not opened it yet. So um, we'll see how I like it, but right now we're gonna keep it back there because I know I'll need it. So again, these are just the car essentials. Can't go wrong with car essentials and having babies, toddlers, all of that jazz. Again, I may get a top because driving, it may tip over, but it's pretty sturdy and heavy right now. Let me know if you have any car essentials. If you have a toddler, newborn, baby, babies, what are your car essentials? Let me know. Okay, so here's the car seat base that we're using. Chico Fit 30. Whew, okay. So what I'm going to do is put them both. I'm going to put the baby in the middle. Um, whew, 
Oh Lord. Okay. I got this. This needs to be scooted over us a little bit. And then we're gonna put baby right here. Yes. Okay, so based off the instructions, it's been a while, y'all. I did the one seat belt loop, which it is pretty snug. And then I did the little latches here on both sides. I did have to adjust Hannah's car seat to pull through um, instead of having the latches, just the regular seat belt, which I believe the lady told me that was okay. And then I have the anchor in the back. So the kids are all set for car seats. I like it this way. If you have any other recommendations, let me know. But I think if I put him in this seat, then it's going to be hard for someone to come in the middle. I kind of want her to be next to him so she can, you know, maybe assist with the pacifier bottle or whatever in the back seat. So really quick, this has been like a hit for us. My mom found these on Timu and these are ABCs, the shapes and colors. And in the back seat, she likes reading books as well as looking through her letters. So that's why she knows all of her letters right now and most of the shapes some of these are a little harder but she knows all the colors and i just keep them on the back of the seat take them off and she can look at them while i'm driving so we are always learning look at me talking my hand always learning um and getting ready for pre-k so just a little mom hack tip and now here's the mirror the back seat mirror for the baby that's going to be here so we're going to assemble that this is one I just got from Amazon. Here's it. Do, do, do. I wonder if I have enough. Oh, I should do this side first. I hold it, okay? You wanna do what? Hold on, baby. I'm trying to get some stuff accomplished here. Bye, baby. I'll see you in a few, okay? Okay, so I want to make sure I can see him from here. So, yes, I can. I need to adjust it a little bit, but yay! So I can see him from this angle. Hello, what's up? Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos, tuning in. I want to show you guys unboxing of this stroller. So I'm gonna get y'all a little close. Okay, so some of the features on this Chico Corso Flex travel system ready. It converts to a double. It's multi configurations. I think I believe from the website it said it was like 20 or something like that. This is new, I guess, within the last three to four months. From my research, there's not a whole lot of reviews, so I am taking a chance. I'm taking a chance, you know? Oh, it's so big. It's only said it was 27 pounds. Because this is going to be my main stroller. Like, instead of having a single, which we have the old Chico uh, Bravo um, stroller. So, again, it's been through the sand. It's been through the fire, really. And, um... We're going to use that as like a backup when there's just one kiddo because we have the Chico um, uh, car seat as well. So, but this is, this is going to be my main stroller so I don't have to have so many different strollers. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So this is heavy. Oh, this is definitely pretty 
heavy. But here's the seat, so we're gonna leave that there. Open this up. Oh, mommy's filming, sir. Here are the wheels. Hold, can you hold the wheels for mom? They're kind of heavy. Oh, here's the instructions, the manual. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so there's the, there's the stroller, the base. I'm out of breath. I need to look at these instructions really quick, but there's the basket. There's the seat. Um, Hannah's holding the wheels. So we'll see, it is definitely sturdy and it's good quality. Okay, so when we're taking this axle, what they're calling it, and put it at the bottom. Up into your click. Oh, wait. So here are the wheels. Here are the wheels. Actually, the front wheel. Let me get the other back wheel. the seat, the toddler seat, and it says I'm going to click this, open it up, should come apart here, there we go, that's nice, it looks like this is like a leather, that's pretty nice, but I need to connect it to, let's see, here first, There's three modular um, positions with this here inside. So you can do it the lower one, the lower position, which I'll probably do with Hana here. And then it was in the middle where I was getting struggling there. And then there's a top one. So there's three. So that's good to know. Three different positions. For me to be able to put the baby up here, the infant car seat, I have to put it in the lower position. So that's what I just did. It did take a little while for me to figure that out, but I got it. And now we're going to attach the basket adapter for to put the car seat in here so here's the car seat adapter basket that is going to go in this area right here for the car seat to go in from what i just read yes i need to take these out okay let me let me try this real quick so i'm gonna take this out this piece right here. So I believe I take that out. Then I'm able to put this in. Cause something doesn't, doesn't Yeah, that's what you have to take out. Should I take out? You got here to click. And then on this side. Okay. Nice. So you do have to take this piece out, which is the handlebar for the toddler when they're sitting here, when the basket's not there which is again a good handlebar. You have to take this out of the adapter to then put the basket inside of the, the adapter here, right there. So here's the car seat. You guys, again, I washed it and so I have to add some fabric and everything in there. Oh, have not did, did that yet, so don't mind all that, but I got the, again, Chico key fit. So we're gonna see how this goes in here. It flipped right away. Not have to do that. So it's not even done at all. But we're gonna act like the baby's in here. But this is what it looks like: car seat and the stroller seat right there. I really like it, but I think I can flip this up too. 
if I'm not using it. Yep, so I can flip that up. There. I like this, okay. Don't touch my moves. Don't touch my house. I do wish this was, I wish I could adjust it. But, but it's not, again, I say it was heavy as in like it being quality, but it's lightweight. It's lightweight. I'm, I guess I was talking about the quality. Yeah, let me let me rephrase from that. I missed it. So yeah, my only thing is now we gotta see how the little one fits in here really quick. There we go. So that's how you do it. This little lever here. I'm gonna put Hannah in really quick. I'm probably gonna have to adjust that, but I'm gonna put her in really quick. Oh, hold on, let me put it in now. Um, So the handlebars here it also has a little storage space for you to put like your phone or something in here it comes with two cup holders which i like again this canopy has spf 50 plus so again here in florida that's going to be really nice but again we have the stand and the seat we can pull down when the baby's not in this um, car seat but i really like this you guys i'm really really liking it really like it i guess we got to take it for a test ride outside to go over some bumps to make sure the wheels but they click in really well they're thick heavy and we have space storage space which is really nice so i can put some groceries down there i think, I think this is the winner so here's a quick overview of the corso flex kiko convertible stroller it comes with a guide that is really helpful gives you all the parts everything you need to know inside and then also i noticed i've been saying it wrong it's called kiko not chico Anywho, it also has leather throughout the stroller as well as this compartment. And then it comes with two cup holders, which is really nice if it's my smaller Stanley cup. So I'm super excited for that. Um, but again, really nice. I really appreciate them making a little storage space for your phone or anything like that at the top. And then also it has all rubber wheels which it was a must for me so it has really big sturdy wheels and then it has for our toddler it does have the seat and stand the seat is um where you're able to put it up and down and it also has a very large canopy sunshade for the car seat where the car seat goes um again it has the upf 50 plus then it has like an open way so you can see the baby some airflow in there so i really appreciate that this basket that is for the car seat does come off so it's just the frame if you want to use the frame or you can use the basket store a little bit in there which is nice and then also at the lower position because this does have three positions that it has um it has a toddler seat which is really nice sturdy 
um, this handlebar for the toddler seat does come off. Um, it clicks in right away. Again, it has that faux leather, really sleek look to it. And then um, it does have the feet, the footrest that is adjustable. So that's nice as well. The toddler seat has a large, I believe this is waterproof because it felt like it was waterproof um, canopy as well. It is gray so it's not black it is gray so it's big enough to cover up the little one in case it rains or you know they just need to be in the shade you could use the stroller as a single stroller with just one seat or you use that space for the car seat um to go in and or for uh the basket which i'll show here shortly but again that small little seat for the toddler is it goes up and down which is really nice and convenient and then also it comes with this uh, like handlebar that I mentioned earlier. It snaps into place. So just when the infant is big enough to sit in the toddler seat in the front, the oldest can sit in the back and hold on, sit down, stand up. Really nice uh, option for them um, here. It does come out. So you do have to take out the handlebar again to put the grocery basket storage in there and or the car seat but overall i really really like this stroller it's sturdy like i mentioned a lot of times in the video it has a large storage space underneath that i appreciate because having two kids you know traveling getting groceries all that jazz you need that space underneath especially for diaper bags and then lastly it does come with this grocery like bag that is connected again you can't have any adapters connected to it it just needs to co connect to the stroller which is really nice so again you're able to put your groceries or if you're going for a shopping trip or whatever you're able to put that in there it is deep it is really nice um again while this is in the toddler can stand it can't sit because it is over um it is you know hovering over the seat so overall i really really like again the stroller it's sturdy i recommend it it was six hundred dollars on amazon so if you're looking for a mid-tier convertible stroller this may be the one for you take two just finished putting the chico corso flex convertible stroller together i really like it i had hubby come down and like fill it out he's like this is what we should have had all along you made us do all these returns anyway sometimes it take a while to get it right but anywho i really like it um i'm gonna do a shorts video so look out for that just kind of some of the features um of why i do like it and then what what i wish it had let me know any recommendations for any future videos um if you have any other recommendations based off of anything i talked about in the video let me know i do recommend this stroller i mean i definitely have to give it a test ride when we go outside with hana in it and the baby but i think it's going to be perfect i already know how to kind of break it down which maybe i'll show you guys here shortly how to break everything down um because it took me a little bit to kind of get used to like what i needed to install what goes where but i hope you guys found this video valuable make sure if you are not a part of my internet crew family join join i would appreciate it we talk all things motherhood beauty wellness just things that we enjoy love peace all of that jazz and some laughter okay definitely subscribe share like i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace